So I wanted to touch upon a really simple topic today, and that is the use of hot versus cold. Uh, it's something that a lot of my clients will quite often need ask about. And hot, hot and cold, hot and cold can be used at different stages in the healing process. So essentially what we need to know is what essentially both of these do and how they could potentially be helpful into the process of actually aiding your recovery. Really, really simple. Uh, most injuries in the body, most injuries in the body will uh, occur due to some sort out of trauma. Whether that's a physical trauma or a chemical trauma, uh, which essentially can cause something, say for example, like a break, a tear, a burn, uh, but something is happening inside of our body which is starting to change the physiology of certain tissues. And so what that basically means is that when the tissue then becomes sore or painful, typically there's some sort of chemical process that's going on inside of that tissue, which is making the nerve endings of that tissue scream out and let you know that something's not quite right. Now, what we basically know when a tissue is in de-stress, in de-stress, we will see some common characteristics. So a lot of the time, if you say, for example, uh, bang your elbow and cause a bruise uh, or you break your leg, one of the first things we're going to see with pretty much any injury is something called inflammation or swelling. So if we see any swelling, if we see any swelling at an injury, well, we essentially know that the blood is flowing into that area. Now, if the blood is going to flow in and swell it up, this could potentially, over a long period of time, cause a few issues. Now, some of the other things that we'll know that when we see an injury or a tissue that is damaged, we'll start to see heat start to rise there. Now, the reason why we see swelling and heat twofold, two reasons. So the reason those two things occur due to one thing, and that's increased blood flow to an area. So when we look at the healing response, essentially what we need in order to heal our tissues, what we need to get is those nutrients from around our body to the tissue in question. So what we want to ask the question is hot versus cold, hot versus cold, which one, which one do we use, which one do we use when we have an injury? Now, for me, in the first 24 hours, in the first 24 hours, when you do an injury, the most obvious one to use is cold. Most obvious one to do with cold. And what we're trying to avoid is that chronic swelling process that chronic swelling process. We don't want too much blood in the area because it can start to inhibit that response and it can also start to make things very, very sore. Now, the other thing that's really nice about cold is it's a natural analgesic, which basically means it gives you pain relief without having to take or add any chemicals within your body. However, when we start looking at the longer term, actually hot can be very helpful as well. So many people that have muscular based injuries will actually tell you that hot works as well. So what we wanna have a look at is if a muscle is gone sore and tight and it's in spasm, if a muscle is sore and tight and it's in spasm, what we realistically know is that actually applying heat to that will start to lengthen the muscles. So let's just use a very good example is that before you do exercise, you might feel very, very stiff when you start to get on the treadmill and your blood starts to flow and you start to increase the temperature of your muscles that become much more pliable. So what we know is both of these can be used very, very well. So if we apply hot to an area, what we're gonna see is very much an increase of blood into that area. When we apply cold, we're gonna take it away. Now, if we do that enough times and we flush blood in and out of the area, essentially what we're gonna do is we're gonna force new nutrients into those tissues and we can really speed up that healing response. So take home points. Cold, very good for inflammatory based injuries. So something where it's swollen, hot, really in the first 24 hours. Hot, really good for helping with muscular based injuries. Now, both of them can be very helpful with inflammation or tissue damage, but what you've got to do is you've got to use them in the right order. So most of the time what you want to do is you want to get the cold on, get the old blood out, put the heat on, get the new blood in, cold on, blood out. So if you're going to if you're going to use hot and cold, you can use them together, you can use them individually, but always make sure that if whatever, a t or whatever type of uh, temperature you're applying to whatever injury it is that you have, that you consult your practitioner if, if things are continuing to get worse, despite the fact that you're using the hot and cold compressors. 
Hopefully you guys have learned something uh, about the hot and cold today and how you can potentially use that to help with your injuries. Uh, if you have any additional questions on those things, just hit us up and I'll be happy to help you out. Have a good day.